So let's begin. First package. This is from um, Doris, um, a part of the company Gomexis. And they make the custom reel handles, reel knobs, and reel stands for the spinning reels. As well as they make the big reels for like salt water fishing and stuff. So you guys can check them out. I forgot what Doris sent me. I'm right. So there's the real knobs. Let's see if you guys can see that or not. There's the red and black real knob. And this is the all black one. Open one of these up. I think that might look pretty good on one of these handles. I don't know. We'll see. I could throw it on my uh, Stratic also. So let's put these two to the side. And next package is going to be a pretty big one. Alright, so I'm going to cut this open. Got to be careful because I don't want to cut through some of these packages inside of here. Packaging is not too bad. Seems like it's kind of pretty uh, messed up. Let's see what we got in here. More six sticks. This is green pumpkin and light blue swirl. Um, green pumpkin and light blue swirl. Black with blue flake. Green pumpkin. Oh, this packaging is pretty oily. Probably gonna have to change it out or something. Mm, can't really see this is the conviction crawl. This is green pumpkin. Gotta have to wipe all these down. Especially because these soft plastics come with a, um, the scent with it. Conviction crawl. This is. I can't really see it as it came off. Green pumpkin and blue swirl. Nice one. more. This still conviction crawl, also. This looks like black and blue. It's oily stuff. I might just throw it back in the box. I think these are all just a lot of the same ones. This is like the Texas rig. Let me pop one of these open. Never used this plastic yet from parts and Let's See if I can get it open. It's kind of slippery. No, nah, this should probably help. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna just individually bag these sometime this week. Six sticks designed to be fished with a 116 to quarter weighted wacky head. It's like a mixture of everything. Well, this is samples four inch diesel crawl, three and a half crawl, I um, can't pronounce that, and three and a half inch Texas rig jig, and one five inch finicky. Uh, tickler. Hmm, samples. Here's another one with the samples again. More samples. More samples. Black and blue flake. 
bad. These are just oily. Black and blue flake. Hmm. Looks like watermelon. Or watermelon. Just a lot more plastics. A lot of samples. Let me know if you guys want to get some of these samples. Send you guys some of these sample packs. So, a lot of these looks like they're all samples. Oh, there you go. So now we got something different. We got the food chain tube. Four and a half inch. This is the larger size. Let's see if I can... I don't know if I have one open. I'm sure you guys want to... How one of these looks like. This is the only tube that I use. I think it's because the way it's... How it looks and how it's designed. And one of my favorite colors from these is the kitchen sink. Kitchen sink is pretty nice. So this is a four and a half inch. This one's a lot bigger. Um, I believe they have the other one is three and a half inch. This one should trigger some pretty good bites. Um, not sure. This is green pumpkin and light blue swirl. Gonna have to change gloves after this one to open up the next one. Black with red um, flake blue swirl. A lot more sample packs. More sample packs. There we go. Some more. So black with or blue with black swirl. These are conviction crawl. This is a Texas red jig. Four and a half. I throw a lot of uh, Texas rigs, so these these will be pretty awesome. I've never thrown these yet. That's how they look like. Let me see. Looks like a lot of the same stuff, but like I said, I paid I believe it was sixty dollars ship for this whole box of plastics, and I knew what I was gonna get already. I mean, I didn't know what type of baits, but how many bags of plastics? It's five, six, six. I can't remember the guy that I bought this from. He said that this was like an estate sale or something they're selling stuff off. But probably gonna have to repackage all these and I'll just relabel them. Man, a lot of crawls. That's what I like. This is the four and a half inch bully grass devil. Nice Texas rig. Got some more here. That's what I got for this box. Now the next box is what I'm excited about. Alright, so here's the next box. This is straight from Japan. If you guys can read that name right there. What does that say? Hideki Meida. Sorry, I didn't pronounce your name right, but you can let me know in the messenger. And this was um, a shipment directly from um, the owner of Teco Lures, which is, which is the frogs and stuff that I use, if, if, as you guys can see. Not sure if I'll be the first person in the U.S. to own this stuff or not. But, we will see. Alright. Ooh, I can see all the stuff ready. Let's see what we got. So, here's the taker. This is the buzz bait. Black and red. Looks pretty good. Mmm, thank you. There you go. Now I got me some uh, fishing gloves. And I actually wanted these a year ago, but then we were unable to get these as this was mainly just for Japan. So, this is going to be pretty sweet. I'll be wearing these every day I go out. Here is the sweater. I'll show you guys, uh, I'll add a picture on this video, see how the sweater looks like. I'm not going to pull it out. But you will see me wearing this a lot of the times this year. The thing that I'm the most excited about is 
this lure right here. Just look at that. That is the Teco Duck Roker. As you can see, it's not in uh, one of the packagings like you'll see as I mean like how the rest of the frogs come in. But he was kind enough to send me one of these and I'm pretty excited to throw this this year. See what um, I can catch on. Hopefully it's not a pike. Hopefully it's a pretty nice bass. I forgot what the color this was. But I will add it to the video later. So you see here at the end of the tail. And I've seen um I've seen I've seen him take this off and he actually put this on like the spinner baits and stuff like that too to create some kind of noise. There you go.